Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day, whatever time you are watching this. <laughs> right, today um, I'm going to do a few little things. I've got a to do list. Let me take you to my to do list. I don't know if uh, this front facing camera will make the writing look backwards because it does on the screen to me. But there's my to do list. Got a few things to check through. First thing is going to be test all the batteries. Uh, sand a few of the paint runs down. I've only got uh, two that I really want to do, which is that one there. And I've got an identical one on the other side. It's just that them two are really obvious. The the rest of the little ones are. So I'll find another little one. Um, right on that bottom edge of the top bit of the boot lid. You see what I mean? Just there. I'm not going to bother doing that because it's not really obvious. So yeah, sand down them two runs. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, my LEDs in the boot lid. You know, up on the, under the parcel shelf, they're dropping down. So I'm going to bung some super glue on them and stick them back up again. Um, da -da -da. Check the engine rocking. Now, sometimes when I pull away, the engine sort of goes bonk, and you know, you think, oh, maybe the steady's moving. Now, I had problems with the bushes on that little while ago, so just something I've got to check. Uh, interior mirror, the little suction pad keeps dropping off the screen. It doesn't stick to that, so I'm gonna put some super glue on that. Uh, rain X on the windscreen. You never know how good the wipers are, and if it rains on the way to IMM, I don't want to stop. I don't want to be pissing around with wiper wipers and stuff, so rain X, amazing stuff that is. Um, and adjust the handbrake, that's it. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to clean all the car out. I'm going to empty the car, clean it all out, repack all the car with all well, most of the stuff that I'm taking, and then clean it, polish it, stick it up on the ramp so it goes up in the air, park the truck underneath it until Thursday morning. Then Thursday morning, it'll be a pack of the last few little bits and away. So... Well, uh, it's not going to be much interested in this video. There is another little thing I want to do as well, which I didn't put on the list, which I've just spotted. <coughs> that nasty crack there. Just so it doesn't fill up with water, I'm just going to bung some tiger seal in the gap. I know it's a bodge, but I'm not going to start doing body work now. Right. Um, yeah, that's it. And I think my boy's coming down to help me as well. So join us in this little journey. Let's uh, start ticking the things off the list. Right, we're slowly emptying the car. I say we. So there he is, my little helper. Um, the next thing I've got to do once, because he's taking all the little bits out of the car, um, I'll then show you... See my face, so you don't want to see that. Um, I'll then show you what I'm taking and all the little spares and stuff that I'm taking with me, just to be on the safe side. Um, and then I'm going to test the batteries. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you how I test the batteries and I can't show you what I'm using to test the batteries. There will be people who's watching this which will understand exactly what I mean, but I'll let you know the results anyway. Because um, <clears throat> I don't know if you remember me saying, but I'm having sort of charging issues with the batteries. Um, this is the earth side. And then at this point, it's 12 volt. Still 12 volt linked across there. That's where this loop goes to the outside breakaway. Um, and then at that point over there, it's 24 volt. Now the alternator, which is also 24 volt, is connected to that point. But at this point, it charges at 28 volt. But at this point, it barely charges at 12 volt. That should be around 13 and a half, 14 volt. So, I think I've got a duff battery, so I'm gonna test them, but like I say, can't show you, trade secret. So there we go. Right, so yeah, that's gonna be my next thing. Have you emptied the car? Yeah. Yeah, is it all empty? Yeah. Brilliant, I'm gonna give you a hoover now. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a hoover now. Why? You're gonna to learn to use a hoover. Okay. Yeah, you sure? Yeah. That's good. Right, okay, let's set the hoover up and I'm gonna test the batteries. Right then, I've just tested all four batteries and it looks to be this battery at the front here ain't any good. It only contains, I think it was 113 amps, 
where the one at the back obviously in that runs parallel with that 12 volt one on the 12 volt side uh that was 300 and something amps there should be 650 they're rated on the top of the battery but obviously that's um <coughs> that's joined in with that one so it's obviously pulled the other one down a bit but the other two absolutely fine uh, even though they technically did still fail the test they're sort of 500 and 400 and something amps so you know they're quite high just that one battery i think well just getting all my stuff ready for imm everything i'm taking so hopefully that'll do me this is mostly what we're taking uh tent sleeping bags um camp beds got two of those there's one underneath that one a single chair do need to go and buy another chair for him uh and then some tools and spares and stuff nice and simple stuff just you know anything could go wrong gloves bulbs bolts washers bits of wire and then just a few tools nothing special spare fan belts pry bar cable ties multimeter <coughs> Then be cleaning stuff, petrol, car cover, monkey. Don't want to forget the monkey. Do you think he looks a little bit like Alex at DJSE? He's got that chunky look about him, hasn't he? Yeah, I reckon that's him. I reckon that's his one of his offspring. You know the old, uh, is it, who, who is it? Johnny Vegas did that thing with a monkey. I reckon Alex has been with that monkey. And this is one of his offspring. <laughs> there you go. Lesson today, eh? Monkeys. That's how they're produced. DJSE makes monkeys. Little monkeys. Right, uh, next. I do need to go out and buy some bits. I do need to go and buy a battery, seeing as one of them's no good. I hope that fixes my charging issue. Um, I don't know. What else? What else do I need to do? Apart from clean and polish the whole car, got to hoover it out. That could be a good thing. Oh, actually, he was going to hoover that out. Let's get him hoovering the car now. Next, um, I think that's it. I think that is it. Right. Let's go. Let's get all this. Get the car hoovered out. Pack all my stuff in there. Uh, clean the car. I think that's it. Yep. Yeah. I keep on saying I think that's it because I think that's it. That's probably why I think that's it because I think that's it. Right then back in a nanosecond and I'll show you what I've done next right. um, I'm trying to go on the order of the list now so the next thing was sand paint runs now there's them two runs I showed you earlier um, you can still see where it was it looks like the paint that was underneath was actually darker than this one unless this has faded weird but yeah there's no run there anymore but you can still see where it's sort of gone through to the next layer I still need to actually polish it, polish it. All I've done is sanded it back and used cutting compound to take the sanding marks out. Uh, I've done the other side as well. That's come out a little bit worse, unfortunately. Um, so I'm get it in the right light. I can't really see it, see it on there. Oh, it's down. there you go. Those two little dots where it's almost gone through to the primer, so. Oh well, this car ain't perfect, just like its owner. Um, next, where's the list? Glue LEDs up. So that's inside the boot here. There's my little LED strip, as you can see. It's falling down both ends. So I'm gonna dob some super glue on it. Stick them back up. Right, the next thing on the list was uh, check engine rocking. Now, unfortunately, I've already fixed it and I didn't film it, but at least I can show you. So when I was getting hold of the top of the engine like this and pulling back with some forwards, there was a bit of movement in the engine so let me show so you a strange reason this bolt was actually loose so i think the where is it now it was on the floor just underneath me now it's gone i think the spring washer was a bit knackered wasn't actually cutting into the bolt so i fitted a new spring washer behind it and whether i should have done or not i don't know i've put a little bit of loctite on the thread just a belt and braces Hopefully the bolt won't break ever and I won't ever have to drill it out. But there we go. So that's that bit. And what was next on the list, mate? I can't remember. I can't remember either. Go and have a look at the list. Rain X. 
Ah, oh, right next to the screen, right, and adjust the handbrake. So I suppose the only other mechanical thing is adjusting the handbrake. So I might put it up on the ramp now and then adjust the handbrake. Um, when I say, I know, I know the handbrake adjustment is inside the car on these, but where I've narrowed the rear beam, I've had to make some little spacer on the back of the handbrake cable. So I, I know what I mean by put it up on the ramp to adjust the handbrake. Technically it's not right, but it is on this car. So I'm gonna muck around with a handbrake. I, I might show you what I'm doing actually. It's probably a good idea. It's the reason I'm filming shit, I suppose. Yeah, there's always been one thing that's bugged me about my car. The way I, this it is something I've done as well. In this top corner over here, there was like, I've repaired the panel from the other side. I've just plapped a plate on it and you can still see the rust from under the bonnet. I've solved that problem. I've stuck some fur over it. So that is the new rust repair. But just to, you know, make it so it's the same the other side. I've stuck some fur over that side as well. Thought I'd start hoovering the car out because I want to start packing everything back in it. Um, so I pulled the hoover, uh, bloody hoover's not sucking properly. And I'm like, why? So I just started taking it apart. I thought, I bet it's blocked. Anyway, I've just found a filter that I didn't even know it had. Yeah, I always thought, oh, let's balance this. I always thought the filter was under here and I'd actually removed it. But no, the filter lived in there. There's the filter. So do you reckon that might be blocked? Well, what's the best thing to clean out an air filter on a hoover? Compressors on. And just to make it back to make all the neighbours' cars dirty. Probably mine as well. It's a good job I'm leaving cleaning it till last. Yep, I'm gonna blow this out with the airline. Let's get it nice and clean. Hopefully the hoover will work then. Don't think the camera picks it up properly, but that's the engine at about 2,000 RPM. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the voltmeter properly. The 12 volt side is on 12.2, then the 24 volt side is on 28. So, like I say, it might pick up. I'm gonna put it on the wall charger, see what happens. Well, that kind of concludes this video, really. Sorry, it's a bit crap. But uh, I've now got the truck back in the garage, the Mini in the garage. I've had the batteries on charge. Um, just to make sure they're tip top and yeah all that's really left to do is pack the car ready for setting off on Thursday morning so everyone that's going to IMM see you there come and say hello and one last thing to be honest um, a lot of you are waiting for this uh, Toyota Glanza build that is coming um, what can I say Let's get IMM out of the way. <clears throat> and then that Mini is coming in the garage. The first couple of videos, I think I said in my last video, if anyone's watching and actually listening to me, I don't even listen to me. Um, yeah, first couple of videos, we're going to be doing a bit of body work on it. But uh, expect some good things from this, video, this coming build because it is going to be epic. And it's not just the build side of it as well. Obviously, this is going to be this is Jordan's car we'll be doing, and Jordan will be obviously heavily involved with this build. Now, Jordan is one of the nicest guys you can meet. He's also a very funny guy, so I have no doubt in my mind that this next build series will be injected with quite a bit of comedy, and I'm looking forward to it because uh, it's going to be fun filming it just as much fun as watching it so i might even watch my own videos back it's going to be so funny okay then so once again this is a last goodbye see you at imm <laughs>